Hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new and you like makeup, beauty, hair or hauls then please consider subscribing. So today is day five of Vlogmas and today I'm going to be testing out the new Shrine Autumn and Winter Collection. So these are drops that you put into conditioner, it's just a, a semi colour, it doesn't damage your hair or anything like that, it conditions it more than anything because obviously you mix it with your usual conditioner. I picked up the bronze, so this one here, and the champagne toner. So what I'm going to try and do is I want to leave like a couple of bits out at the front so that I've got like the, the champagne at the front. And then on the rest of my hair, I'm going to use the bronze at the root and then kind of blend it into the champagne. Well, that's the idea anyway. I've never done anything like this. So, you know, we'll see. But I did I did my roots recently with the what was it called the bright the bright bleach kit and um and the silver semi and although it's it's gone well I have had to just tone the roots a bit but where obviously it's kind of showing through a bit I don't know if you can see where this is more processed than up here because this has only had one lot of bleach from obviously when my roots are growing through. And this has obviously grown out over time. Um, where it's less processed, it doesn't take as much as it does down here with the silver shampoo. I mean, up here, it's not, well, I wouldn't say if I hide this, it's not yellow. It is, it is blonde, but it's just, this is more of a silver shade. So anyway, which is why I'm planning to put the bronze on this bit here and then take the champagne through the rest of it. So it'll be a bit more blonde than silver. So this is the colour chart on the on the bronze semi colour. I want to go kind of, excuse my nails, I want to go here. So the 12 drops, I'm going to put it on dry hair because I, I mean, it's up to you. You're supposed to put it on wet hair, but you can put it on dry hair. I just find putting it on dry hair, it just lasts that little bit longer on me anyway. And then the champagne toner, I'm going to do the same. So this is the chart for this. And again, I'm going to go to the middle. So it'll be the two to four drops here. I did also grab a, a new brush as well because mine, I snapped the handle halfway. So it was a bit of a, a pain to use. So I thought I'd grab one of these as well because I got these in the sale. Uh, I think I paid in total about £20 for all of it. But yeah, it feels like a really nice brush actually. So yeah, we'll use that as well. <laughs> so this is the... What's this? The cham yeah, champagne uh, semi color, and obviously you've got your your drops in there, and then you've got your bowl and your little mixing spatula, and then this is your toner bowl with your bottle of toner. It is a lot smaller than the semi colors, but I think there's yeah twenty mil in these ones, and there's half, so ten in there. But obviously you're not going to use as much of this, which is why it's smaller. So. Yeah, I've heard good things about the toners though, so I'm looking forward to trying this out. Right, so I've just had a quick read through the instructions for the, the toner because I've not used that one before. I've done the, the semi-colours, I've done the um the purple one, <clears throat> which I didn't I didn't actually film, that was before I started doing like YouTube and that. Um I've also done the peach and the silver. So I do have videos of the peach and the silver, which I'll link above at some point in this video. But yeah, this is exactly the same you know process as the the semi color so it says fill it to 40 which is only halfway up but because i'm obviously putting it on dry hair i think i'm going to double that so yeah obviously double double the conditioner double the toner anyway enough gabbling let's go through to the bathroom and pop it on right okay so what i'm going to do is i obviously need to get my center part in i'm going to give it a quick brush Okay, I'm going to get my part in. Okay, that's better. And then, obviously, because I want to do these two pieces, the champagne. So I'm going to pull these out as evenly as I can get. I'm going to use the tail of this. Pull.
Yeah. I think that's the best that I'm going to get it. I know it doesn't look even, but the trouble is that on this side, I've um, got more volume than the other. Oh, that's better. There we go, we'll take it like that. Right, so I'm just going to tie that bit in a band. <laughs> like that. Right, and then I'll mix up my colour. So I've just got, this is just a, a cheap white conditioner, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'm just going to pop this into, I'm mixing up the bronze colour first, I'm just going to pop this in. So there's a line there. I'm going to fill it to there, so like that, and then pop my drops in. So it's the bronze, <clears throat> and then they look like this. So they do look quite a, a dark brown. So one drop is that much, not a whole pipette. I can't remember what it said now, 12. So I'm going to put 12 drops into the conditioner. We'll, so there we go, and then I'll give that a mix. Right, so it looks like this. So it does look quite dark. Uh, yeah, but I'm sure it will be fine. So what I'm going to do is just take the middle section just here and put that up. And then we'll work up to the top section, I think. Just clip that out of the way. So I'm just starting with the, the bronze to start off with, and as I said, I'm just kind of putting it on the root area, and then we'll use the toner just to kind of blend into that as well. So with my brush, I'm just gonna take the bronze kind of from the root down to about there, probably. <laughs> So I've done the root area on all of that, so we're like that, but obviously all the way through to the end. So I'm going to go on to do the top part now. So I'm going to take this part down and then work in layers again like I did on the other side. What I'm going to do is just clip this half up and work on this one and then move over. But I'm also going to work quite quick because I don't want it to take dramatically more than the other side. So I've taken that to there. I decided to go a bit um, a bit lower down. I don't know if to go lower down even. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it to there, and then obviously I'll put the toner on the rest. I'm just gonna work in layers now. Right. Okay. So I think we're all good. I think I've done that. Okay. I'm just going to comb through to kind of, so it's not such a blunt line. And I think I've done it fairly even on both sides as well. I did just kind of top up a little bit here, but I think that's, that's pretty good. Right, so we're going to go through with the toner now. So all I'm going to do with this is just with my hands, I'm just going to kind of whack it through like this in sections. I don't mind if a little bit goes into this because obviously that's just going to make it blend more. Well, I say obviously, I'm hoping. But yeah, and then obviously we'll leave it to take. So I'm just going to run, I'm going to make up the toner the same way I made up this colour. And then as I said, I'll just run through it with my hands. 
Right, so this is what the toner looks like. I've put it in this bowl because the little one, I just had, I struggled to mix it up because it was quite small. So I've just popped it in that one. So that's the first bit, so I'm just going to basically do that all the way around now. Okay, so I've done all the rest and then I'm just going to take this bit out and I'm going to do this as well. And then I'm going to take the rest of the clips out. I'm just going to comb through it all again, again, just to make sure it's blended properly. And then leave it for 10 minutes. And what I'll do is I will leave it for the, the 10 minutes. I'll wash it off just with water, no shampoo, and then style it. And then I'll see when it's done. Okay, and here's how it looks. I, I love it. I really, really like it. I think it's really nice. It's quite subtle but it's definitely there. I mean, I probably could have taken it a bit darker on the on the bronze, if I'm honest. I probably could have put the, the next level up of drops, but this here is so nice and it's so even as well. I'm really shocked, to be honest, considering it's just conditioner mixed with some, some drops. I'm really shocked at the, at the color result. But yeah, obviously this is the bit that I left with just the the champagne blonde which has taken beautifully this is the bronze up here which has taken really nice as well yeah it couldn't have gone better yeah i'll show you sort of this is how the underneath looks so it's all gone really nice and even you've got the the blend there yeah I'm so happy with it. I really am. I think it's so nice. It is exactly what I was after. The only thing was that I wanted this bit. I actually wanted it a little bit darker than it is. This would be a stunning colour all over. But that's not that's not the fault of the product. That's, that's me not putting enough drops in. Maybe if I do it again. Although I'm quite tempted, you know, to take the, the bronze colour and go darker and do the underneath and then to do the champagne on the top. I might actually try that next time when this washes out. So, yeah, there we go. Highly, highly recommend it. Shrine never lets me down. It really doesn't. I've always been happy. So I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I'd really appreciate it. I mean, the absolute world to me. If you did enjoy watching this video and you'd like to see more content from me in the future. And you would like to subscribe to my channel. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye. Bells ringing, diamonds blinging